You know what? I thought this was books. Mm -mm, this is way better. Pretty good. Okay. I just think that's really interesting, and it makes me think maybe there's some good stuff in here. Do you see that? I hope that's coming out on the camera. Yeah. That's a little heavy right here. What could that be? I don't know. And we got the hat. <laughs> All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Okay, are you ready for another day of unboxing at the Nut House? That's right, we're stuck at home, sort of. There's a shelter-in-place order here in California, so uh, we're faring pretty well, though. I must say, we're faring pretty well. I've got plenty of boxes to go through. I've got these, this big stack right here, as well as my third garage bay right there, just full of boxes. And I've got two lockers still full of boxes. I'm good for a while. I am thankful, I am fortunate. And good for you guys, too. We still have plenty of boxes to go through. So, let's get started. These ones here, this and that stack there, is coming out of the no-show locker. Which, if you haven't seen it, I call it the no-show locker because no one showed up at the auction. Jan and I were the only ones there to bid. And we got it for 50 bucks, And it was amazing. A 10 by 20 stuffed. And we've been going on this... Um, boxing adventure with you guys so hey if you're new to the channel that's what we do here we buy lockers at the auction and go through it with you on youtube so that you can be on the adventure with us and see because you know what every box is an adventure everyone we don't know what's in it sometimes good sometimes bad sometimes like in the last episode i go through two boxes and it takes me a 48 minute video to show everything because it's that amazing well i don't know what we've got here i see some books you can see, kind of see through the tote a little bit but there still might be some good stuff. Let's go through this and then start digging through some of those boxes. You ready to get started? All right, guys. You see this got a fairly good layer of dust on, on the top of this. This locker had been sitting a while. And the ones that had dust usually were the boxes on top. Uh, so, Beauty and the Beast, little kid's book. Disney stuff's always good. Sells well. You know, bring it to the flea market. There's always a buyers for Disney stuff. That looks like it's kind of like a Wells, Where's Waldo. Um, Disney version. Okay, you know what? I thought this was books. Mm -mm, this is way better. Oh man, this is way better. Okay, so what's this? Serving dish with three forks. The Macy's. Shout out to Macy's. All right. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? It's got this little three dish piece. It's connected there. It's got some. Oh, okay. So it's got a bolt right there. That's going to go through so you can grab it, pick it up, and move it around. Nice. And there's our three little forks here. With the little, same little rose pattern to it. So, yeah, nice piece there. All right, moving on to the next one. Oh, there is a couple books in here. So I didn't see it completely wrong. See that? What does it say? Anarcho Creations. There's a little fancy serving piece, I think. Let's see. Uh, no. No, no, no. This is something different. Uh, it's a cat. Look at that. Huh. This reminds me of another cat piece that we got out of this locker. And uh, I don't even know where that piece is. Maybe we sold it already. I can't remember. Do you guys know what that is right there? I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. It's got a little butterfly on his tail. Huh. Oh, good. Very nice. Look at this. That's kind of a cool piece. Maybe we'll auction that off for you cat lovers in our Monday night auction. Let's see. So it was made by Anarcho Creations out of Turlock. That's not too far from us. We've gone to the Turlock flea market before good flea market okay next piece all right bathroom mirror set right here let me just check to make sure that's what it is well that's in styrofoam so i'm gonna say it probably is that that's a little shelf mirror yep that's pretty self-explanatory and not super valuable but that stuff sells at the flea market for sure especially brand new like that talking beer opener with the three stooges oh my goodness you know i love this kind of stuff press to play well, batteries may be out, which is unfortunate. I'd love to hear what that has to say. It's a neat piece. 
Okay, we got some books, more books here. Another birthday? Question mark. That's a little uh, books. Books, 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 books. Hmm. Child star. Shirley Temple Black. Looks like they were only partially into it. All right, this is good. Hot Wheels. Motor City Muscle. We found some Hot Wheels in this one. Of course, most of our Hot Wheels are coming out of two other lockers that we recently bought. Both of them have huge Hot Wheel collections. Here's something a little bit newer. 2003, so... Huh, special edition one, I guess. All right, this, this. This right here. Oh, it's gonna do... Ooh, guys, there's a box right here. Oh, this is looking much better. Okay, Oscar de la Renta. Which is some good perfume. It sells very good. What do we have here? Wait, what? What is this? Is this is this really Oscar de la Renta wrapping paper? Gift paper? Gift wrap? Come on now. Is that for real? Did they really have that? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Because I had never seen that before. I was hoping for some fragrance, although... The, the box is uh, rather light, so... Okay, wait. Scented drawer liners. Oh. How about that? It does smell. It smells good. Okay. Should we go for this? No. Save that for a second. What else we got here? Okay, a little shadow box. All right, for putting your little knickknacks. Another one. A little glass cabinet. Okay, perfume bottles. Three. Oh, this is nice. So we, this is, we did find a perfume bottle collection in this in this uh locker okay now these are good harley davidson die cast metal replicas yep 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 good 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 harley davidson sells good die cast has been selling really good this is a good finds right here another one die cast one in one to 18 scale model Ooh, that's an old one look at that huh it's a flathead, 1942 flathead. We got six different ones, and we got three of them here. It's pretty good. Okay. Doesn't sound like anything's in there. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see some heart shaped box right here. This. Jeez. Okay, what does it say? International Silver Company. Silver plated, okay. Silver plated, made in China. All right, it's nice. I mean, it feels nice, but silver plate, silver plate, right? And there's this little frame, yes. All right, a little silver plated frame. This is not even open. Usually, I don't like to open brand new stuff, but in this case, I'm going to because I'll tell you what. I brought this to the flea market and turned my back for a second. These people would just open it. Alright, another silver plated piece. This little vase. It's pretty. Alright guys, next box. Okay, this one is interesting. M. Okay, it says M. These boxes, if you remember, were in the back right corner. They're one of the last things I got to, um, uh, got to unburied. And I was curious because they all said M on them. So the last, their last name started with M. That could be it. Or it could be something different. I don't know. Um, electronics and pants and DVDs. <laughs> Just kind of an odd combination, in my opinion. Pants, electronics, and DVDs. But whatever. Whatever. It's heavy. It weighs a ton. It's very difficult to lift this one. It's packed. And I see pants. Those are actually shorts. But they're dickies, and they are big boy size. Let's see. I don't see the size in here. But these are pretty pretty big. Big size dickies. That is going to be good for the flea market. There's another one. Dickies. Good. Good, good, good. Good stuff. Okay, here's Wrangler. Not bad. Cargo shorts. All right. Let's get some Levi's. Come on, baby. Polo jeans, Ralph Lauren, okay. That's decent too. For some reason, Levi's are always the best seller. Route 66. I see some DVDs and I see some electronics. Right here. 
The box did not lie. Here's some more. Oh, these are Ben Davis. That's cool. Kind of comparable to Dickies, I think. Maybe a little bit more expensive. I don't find them as often. What does this say? Mitch. Mitch. So M stands for Mitch, but who is Mitch? It says Mitch right there. Hang on, what is this? Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. Ooh, this is good. Got a uh, CD set here. We found a few of these so far. All right, and Santana. Ah, it's too bad the guy wrote on this with Sharpie. Mitch, yeah, that's nice. That's too bad though, he wrote on everything. Mitch, Mitch. But um, it was 30 bucks at Rasputin's. And the best of soul and R&B. Yeah, all right, that's good. Three disc set, soul and R&B. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got a big old digital home theater system. What's the brand on this? Dura brand? What is it even? Huh. A DVD player. Nothing fancy. It's the Blu-ray ones that still sell. The regular DVDs. That's a hard sell, even for five bucks. It's hard to sell. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Kos. K O S S S nine o four. Powered subwoofer. Okay, that. That's kind of heavy, actually. I'll have to look that up. That might be worse than few. I might be wishful thinking, but I, it might be. What's this? Sony. This is decent. MHC EC50. All right. That's decent. If I can find the speakers to go with that, probably an even easier sale. But uh, that's a decent find right there. So that's an all right box. Not a great box, but it's an okay box. All right. Check this out. Souvenirs. This I saw this box when I pulled it out. Definitely caught my attention. Um, this very really cool writing on here, but just the fact that someone took this much time to decorate the box, and uh, it's only on that side too. There's nothing on these sides. Only that side. Um, I just think that's really interesting, and it makes me think maybe there's some good stuff in here. Let's take a look. Okay. That tape is kind of useless. It's dried up and old. Okay, let's see, are these, are these souvenirs or are these trophies? Please don't be trophies, because trophies are a hard sell. Okay, that looks to me to be a, like a candlestick holder. How is this souvenirs? These are candles. Actually, that's pretty nice. So look at these are like wood buttons. Zanzibar collection, twelve ninety nine at Kohl's. That smells pretty good, actually. That was six dollar candle. Fig and Cassis, Cassis or Cassis. That smells good. I'm gonna keep that. I'm keep that. Not that long ago, we had rolling blackouts here. PG and E, our electric company, cut our power, um, and that was during the windstorms back in when was that? September, October. Ever since then, I'm not letting candles go too easily. Uh, little frosted glass candle holder, I guess. Yeah, I've definitely been holding on to candles since then. American Brass and Copper Precision Processing. This is a uh, metal. Okay, let's see if I have the rest of it. Oh, here's another jewelry box. I found a fair amount of jewelry boxes. Made in Japan. This is nicer. Avon. Okay. It is pretty though. Oh. There we go. The front to that. Okay. And this is Win Ross. Made in the USA. 14602. Pretty cool. Oh, again though, where's the souvenirs? I, I remember these were souvenirs from tr their travels, but this is stuff's just made in the USA. Maybe they travel around the U.S. Okay, that looks like a little candle. I don't know. Or a lamp. Some 
toothpicks. What is this? It's is a piece of stone cut. Is that to be a, like a coaster? Huh, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. What is this called, you guys? Is this pyrite? Is that what that is? I don't know. Ooh, okay. Hope we got some more. I like finding rocks and stones and stuff. That's fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is good. Look at that. Very nice. This will make the auction for sure. This is probably a souvenir piece from their travels. What, another little shot glass. Holland. Cool. España. Spain. Is this musical? I'm not sure what the purpose is. Okay. Oh, these are nice. Look at this. France. Limoges. Okay, a couple little pieces with the Eiffel Tower on it. All right, now I'm getting it. Baccarat, Germany, Kaiser. Now I'm getting the souvenir theme, all right? Marine World, Africa, USA. It's hilarious. Made in Japan. It must be older. I knew this was going to be a fun box. This one is kind of fun, isn't it? Souvenirs. All right, now the shot glass. Heidelberg. Paris. Oh, that's cool. Is that the Seattle? Yeah, the Space Needle. Set in a nice piece of stone here. Huh, nice. Right, it's just a glass container base or something. Okay. Put your ring or something in there, jewelry holder. It's nice. Hey, ooh, what's this? It says Tony right there. It's like a solid piece of brass. It's like it's some kind of a sculpture. Oh, this is two people hugging. Do you see that? I hope that's coming out on the camera. Yeah. It's two people hugging. That's really, that's kind of nice. Yeah, and this is right here. Tony. What's that for? Sometimes you get those little cone incenses that are kind of shaped like a cone or, uh, and you can burn them. Maybe that's what that's for. It's from Alaska, this piece. Look at that. Glacial Ice Age Sculpture. Crafted by hand. Huh, that's nice. Okay, there's a wine topper, right? Oh. And then that hangs on the bottle. Cheers. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh. That's nice. What does this say? 1993. Art. I think it's got the artist name on it. Um, I think it's... Uh, this is what I think it is. I think it's a glass bottle covered with leather. And the leather's been uh, decorated. And. Yeah. Nice. Doesn't smell like anything. That's pretty cool. I got more toothpicks. It's just odd. It's an odd thing to have in your souvenir box. Ooh, look at this. Huh. <laughs> nice. Raven, hand painted Alaska totem poles. So they must have gone to Alaska. Made in Alaska. Let's see what we got here. Rhonda. Okay, it must be in Spain. Is that a town in Spain? Okay, Souvenir de Paris. It's like a little ashtray or something. Made in France. Okay, and then we have this Hansel and Gretel with the witch. It's cool. Yeah, it's funny. Made in China. That's a sombrero uh, pepper shaker. So funny. 
Oh, we're probably going to have the salt as well. Let's see. Yep, yep. Ooh, what's this? Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Look at this, this is stone. That's cool. That's really nice. Hand carved out of stone. Okay, just stuck myself on that. That didn't feel so good. Let's see what we got here. Now the Paris piece, Arc de Triomphe in the Eiffel Tower. Put on a little piece of uh, marble or granite. Marble, I think. So, nice. Yeah, metal. All right. All right, guys, next box. And this looks pretty good. DVDs and DVD player. Oh, it says right here, Mitch DVD player DVDs. Okay, obviously, that's what it is. It's on there twice, but Mitch. So that's what this M referred to, as we figured out in the earlier box. M referred to Mitch. Mitch may be somebody, a family member, right? They didn't have kids. So maybe Mitch was a family member. Uh, maybe Mitch passed away. Maybe Mitch went to jail. Maybe Mitch uh didn't pay his rent and uh they didn't give him his stuff back i don't really know what happened to mitch but mitch is out of the picture apparently so mitch sure liked to write his name on everything though the fact that he wrote his name on everything suggests that he wasn't a uh, family member maybe he's someone renting a room or an extended family that came to live with them or something and he wanted to make sure that the dvds didn't get mixed up mitch's stuff say stayed mitch's stuff i don't really know I don't really know. Uh, it's Bruce Lee, but that's not Bruce Lee. And neither's La Bamba. Good movie, not Bruce Lee. clock and uh yeah pretty nice all right here we have another dvd player also not blu-ray gpx it says but we have the remote so that's kind of nice all right i have i have absolutely no idea what could be in here right no clue just kidding dvd that says mitch videos looks like a whole nother box of DVDs, which you know what? This is actually really good because in our auctions, we've been selling a lot of DVD lots right now. Um, of course, okay, just like I did in the last box, I'm gonna have to go through and make sure every single disc is in here because we did find a couple that were empty, but uh, most of them appear to be there. We're just gonna double check. Oh, Purple Rain, it's a good movie. There's a lot of DVDs in here. It's really good. Probably a hundred DVDs. Check it out. Yeah, that's good. We'll have some DVD lots. All right, guys. Let's go for one more, and then I think we'll call it a day. I'll get this video edited and up for you guys to watch. Yeah, this one looks pretty interesting. That's a little heavy right here. What could that be? I don't know. This looks pretty good. Okay, but there's a lot of these. It says right here, Take a Seat by Rain. $14.50 marked down to $5.99 discount. It's a little chair. That's what it looks like. We found one of these before, and I was like, okay, this is another one of the miniatures, because these guys like their miniatures. The other one was like uh, pear wood, I think. What's this one? This one's plastic. Look at that. That's different. Linear elegance. So it looks like they're miniature replicas of famous chair designs, I guess. This is what it appears to be. I've never found a miniature chair collection. I didn't even know there was such a thing. People collect very odd and unique items, don't they? And uh, buying lockers, that's what we find. Odd and unique, that's for sure. Mr. Vanderbilt's chair. Look at that. Hmm. It's like a little, it's supposed to look like a cushion pillow. It is not a cushion pillow. 
but it is a uh, footrest to go with the chair. Matching. Patio, circa 1990. Yep, that's what that is. There's a lot of detail on these. This one says Racing Red, 1991. That's what it looks like. It's so weird, huh? Boy, this one's never been out of the box, I think. It's metal. You can see it, but look at this is what's kind of funny. Look at this. The little casters on it rotate around. They even turn. <laughs> I said there's a lot of detail on these, but that's over the top. All right, here's some bigger ones. I, I don't think I want to open every single one of these because they take a really long time. Most of them have something on the outside that shows what they are. I have to look these up, see if they have any value. I hope so. I hope these have some real good value. Oh my goodness, these are so beautiful. This one's heavy. Look at that thing. It's really, really nice. I just never even knew there was such a thing as a chair, miniatures. Again, I've said it before on other videos, this is why I really do like this locker. This has been just such a pleasant surprise. The collections that they had, while not like super, super high value, obviously I love to find vintage toys or something, you know, a little bit higher value. But this one is just unique, special, and you could tell they loved them. They loved, they cared about their stuff. They really took care of it. Okay, so let's see what's in here. It's a little heavy. Oh, more of these. Yeah, check this out. So we had some of these shoe miniatures, uh, another box from the same locker, and we auctioned them off. And now we found some more. More miniature shoes for the miniature shoe collection, okay. Looks like we're gonna have a few more of these for our auction, you guys. Okay, let's see if that's what this is too. Yes, that is what this is too. Look at that, more of these. Whew. More miniature shoes. So we have miniature chairs and miniature shoes. Loving this locker, loving it. Just the right shoe. Oh, by Rain, this is the same maker. Same maker as these chairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some good stuff right here. Look at that. That's what it is. All right, this I think is another one. Look at this, it's even a miniature shoe box. <laughs> it's hilarious. Wow, okay, Monday night. Monday night you will see these in our auction. Yes, these are definitely like the other ones that we auction off. I could tell they were a little bit nicer feeling. Uh, they just feel quality. And now that we found these in these special boxes, I could tell this is not this is not something that's cheap. I don't know if it's big, big value, but it definitely is not low end. It's too fancy for that. Okay, so we got that one. Check this out. Another one. Another one. Another one. Leopard stiletto. Oh my goodness. One more. Another one. Another one, another one, and this appears to be maybe another one, just the right shoe. Accessory, Serengeti box. Oh, that's a lid for it. Oh my goodness, look how funny that is. That is hilarious. Look at that. It's very, very nice. Nice stuff, you guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, well, good box to end it on, too. So, I love finding stuff like this. I love it. I keep saying it, I know, but I love finding stuff that's different, unique. All right, and then what's this? Hat figurine and stand. Let's take a peek. Okay, so we got like a little hat box or something right here. I can take that out just right now. And we got a shoe to match it. Nice little piece right here. Okay. A lot of detail. And we got the hat <laughs> and the stand. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Okay, so what do we got? We've got two accessories, 10 shoes, 
and about 17 chairs. That's a, that's a nice little collection, my goodness. All right, <laughs> more good stuff. This no-show locker has just been so fun, so fun, incredible stuff. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying like super, super high value, but stuff I've never seen before. Uh, these guys collected just different things and I dig that about them I really do and I've said this before too. the people that own this locker they seem to be a very sweet couple um, and very clean and very organized and you could tell they really cared about their items keep in mind these people passed away both the husband and wife the wife eight years earlier the husband more recently so we don't we don't purchase lockers that often for people that are deceased but when we do we do tend to find a little better stuff and also just a little bit of um, I don't know like we feel a little bit better about it because these people didn't have kids. They didn't have any family that stepped forth to claim it. So therefore, like, no one's really missing the stuff. And we're giving it a new home, finding buyers for, for it, that a new home, a new collector is going to be able to appreciate these and enjoy them. And I have to, I have to figure that's what the previous owners would have wanted, right? They really did because they liked and maybe even loved these collections of theirs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've still got um, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes over there left to go through for the no show. Plus I got more in the, in the locker too. That's only what I brought home. So we got those and then we'll switch over to the train unit that I bought. We'll go through some of those boxes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this no show locker because I sure am. Give me a thumbs up if you are, okay? And uh, we'll keep pumping out these videos because I know you guys, at least you, you that are sheltered in place like we are, stuck at home, are enjoying um, having something to watch that's a little bit different than what you're finding on TV, right? That's the feedback we've been getting. So I hope you're enjoying it, all right? Um, next video will be out soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, to save the world, get yourself a kitchen towel. Tie around your face like that. Make yourself a Velcro strip. It's called Rolo, Rolo wrap Velcro. We'll get under like that, nice and tight, just like a surgical glove, even better. I mean, a surgical mask, even better. So nice. There you go. So American ingenuity. Okay. There you go. Cut.